Hey guys, I'm Sean from Sky Studios. I'm a social media specialist, a graphic designer, and I do a little bit of 3D modeling as well. You can find me on Instagram at uh, Sean Bope. Mm, so today I'll be modeling the rest of this character, his body to be precise. You guys can see the sketch for this model uh, in the description. So I'm starting with a basic plane, and I'm gonna. Uh, scale it down, cut it and place it on the chest, cut it in half, add and delete those vertices, add a mirror modifier, and enable clipping. Scale those two corners down, place one vertice on the middle, place it on the chest like in the concept art and then I'm gonna extrude E for extrude and extrude again and drag those points up E for extrude again place it down align those vertices that, add your loop cut, control R, and place so You can see the screen cast key is on the right hand corner on the top as well. And it's always important to check the side views of your character and do it while extrude again. And extrude again, move it in your x axis, move it more, and then rotate and drag it in. And control 2, that's the subdivision surface modifier. That's the shortcut. So if you guys don't want to select it from the modify section, you can just add Control 2 and then Control R for another loop cut. Control R another loop cut. I'm gonna align those vertices so it looks like a proper back. Drag them down the Z axis. The shortcut is G Z. G is to move any object, and Z X Y is to move along those axes. Now I'm just adjusting those vertices. As of now, this doesn't look anything like uh, the chest of a character, but follow along and you guys can uh, get it like it's in the in the render I showed you in the in the start of the video. So yeah, this is how it, you should take some time, but. You guys follow along you guys can get it and I'm gonna select those four edges four faces and extrude E for extrude again and move down R to rotate and yes and I'm gonna leave it like that Go to edge select mode, select those two edges and rotate them in the y axis, select those edges and lift them up and select those vertices, trying to get those curves as much as I can. Because as of now it looks a bit like a cube. You know, no organic character has more curves than edges, so trying to curve them 
a bit. So as of now the character looks a bit weird but we're gonna add another loop cut control R and select those two edges and push them back and select those faces and move them back as you know if you know uh, human the human body the shoulder the chest is in the in chest is actually a bit forward and shoulders are toward a, a bit back towards your body so I'm gonna add another loop cut and I'm gonna add those two this is mostly following your eye and just getting it just take your time slowly push those vertices push and pull those vertices and create something beautiful out of it just take your time that's the most important thing you guys can see even this video I'm taking a lot of time just checking the character from all angles and trying to fill the details trying to make the character as organic as I can as you guys uh, I didn't mention in the previous video but this character is going to be a shirtless character so I'm gonna have to show some definition in the muscles of the body so I guess this is a fairly cartoonistic character so I won't be going a lot in detail so you guys can see a little detail I'm gonna take my time and look from all angles and try to get those curves as much as I can. Get those curves. Yep. Push and pull, push and pull. Align those vertices. And the shoulder as of now you can see it's far better than how it used to look so it's getting better the tricky part is always getting those abs right it's the hardest so if you look at the concept art he has a really thin waist So it looks a bit abnormal but that's the character we're going for so I guess we gotta deal with it so I feel that it felt like that part of the chest was too much towards the y-axis so I had to pull it out it looked a bit weird So you can, I'm gonna, I'm getting those two vertices close to the main, the middle vertices because I want that crease uh, in the back. And I didn't want something like that in the stomach, so I pushed them away. And see, so I hid the back by selecting it, selecting the back, and edge to hide and I press that so I can see the back of the character and control B 
bevel those edges so now I'm creating the apps this is one of the hardest and the trickiest parts so I don't want to add extra vertices I'm trying to stay as minimum as possible so um, I didn't extrude the whole thing because that will give me too much faces to work with and I don't want too, much, too many faces in my character too many verses I'm trying to go for go as much as go as much as I can with less verses so I bevel those two edges and try to get that crease in the abs I'm not going for perfect abs but this is how I got those abs getting abs the right way if you have a lot of verses and a lot of uh, geometry to work with you can get it fairly easily but uh, I'm going for a pretty uh, a pretty decent pretty low poly character so it's a little hard but yeah Now I'm gonna add the bottom abs the same way. Extrude, sorry, bevel. It's two edges, select two edges and control B to bevel. Bring them closer. shortcut to get out and in a edit mode is tap you can see the mesh is a bit weird right now so I want to fix that and I'm going to merge a few of these edges to feel these vertices so they look quite okay try to get the belly button down so I made a face there I extruded it in and, uh, the shape kind of got messed up a little so I had to disable the mirror modifier for a bit and fix it I was thinking whether to add a loop cut or not. I didn't. And the thing is, when you're modeling these type of characters, it's a little hard because 
all the characters are different characters, so it's always important to that you find new methods always to make different types of characters because these characters are all different because all those characters are stylized characters. So yeah. Now I'm gonna join these vertices together. Control Alt M and Center. And here as well. Alt M Center. There you go. And the bottom one I'm not gonna do that did it but it didn't look very good so I'm gonna leave it like that So I deleted the bell button and I extruded it again. It got a bit weird so I extruded it again, control R rotate it properly. It, rotate it, you guys can see the keys I'm using. So this is the final render, although I feel like doing some variations later, I might upload those on my Instagram, so follow me on Insta to see that. And so alright guys, this the, that's it for this video, hope you guys liked it, and uh, I'll be modeling the arms and legs in the next video, so subscribe to watch it all. And if you have any questions, leave a comment below. And if you guys are modeling this character, don't forget to tag me so I can see it. And uh, Again, thanks guys, subscribe to this channel, like it, and um, see you.